All right, guys, welcome to tutorial number nine. And in this video, we are going to be learning about tables. Now, whenever we want to arrange data, like text or images or even links in rows and columns, then we make use of HTML tables. So let's create a table for the cast of the Friends TV series. Now, we will be creating something like this. So we have a table with two rows, two columns and seven rows. Now to create a table, we'll be using a table tag and each row in the table is created using a TR tag, something like table row. And the very first row may be a heading row. So if you want to specify that column as a heading, you can use the TH tag and for the remaining rows, since they contain data, we are going to be using the TD tag to specify their data. So let's get started with coding and understand this better. Now let's say we have our description about friends and then we have more information and then let's create the table underneath. So to create a table, we'll be making use of the table tag. And as we saw, we are going to have to create rows in the table. So each row in the table is created by a TR tag and this row is going to contain the columns. So in our example, each row had two columns and the very first row is going to contain the heading for that column. So we are going to have a TH tag and a second TH tag. So Within our first th tag, we can have first name, and within the second one, we can have last name. Now, similarly, we have six rows under this heading, which are the actual cast, names of the cast. So, we'll be creating another row with tr tag, and we are going to have td as the tag for the data table data and the first one is rachel green and then close the td tag similarly we are going to copy this and paste it i'm sorry this has to be just rachel which is the first name and green which is the last name now similarly we have six five other characters so I'm going to just quickly copy paste this. So two, three, four, five, and six. So we have Rachel Green. Then we have Monica Geller. Then we have Phoebe. We have Phoebe Buffet. Not Buffet. <laughs> yeah. Buffet. And then we have Chandler Bing. Okay, sorry, Chan Chandler Bing. Joey. Tribbiani. And finally, we have Ross Geller. Okay, I messed up something. Okay, just this. Geller. Now, if we save this, so we have a table, a closing table tag. We have TR for a row, and we have seven rows. And in the first row, we have the heading for the two columns. And then in the remaining rows, we have the first name and the last name of each of the characters. So let's reload this page. You see, first name, last name, then we have all the remaining characters. Now one thing's missing though, in our Excel file we have this nice border that we want in our HTML page as well. So in our table tag, we can specify an attribute called border and this can be equal to let's say one. So when we save it and reload it, then we get a nice border around, around the cells, table cells. Now this border can be increased to increase the thickness. So if I make it five and reload it, so you get the thickness of five. 
anyway that's how you create a table and how to have rows and columns within the table thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video